As you can see here, we've got the walls up. The roof is on at least uh, to get started with. The door, front door has been cut out and the jams are in place. We're gonna stop with the door there. I think that's good enough for now because we've got to keep moving. It's time to take a look at what we're gonna do with the fireplace. We've already cut the opening here. We've cut down halfway on this uh, this bottom log, this sill log. I didn't want to cut it all the way. I wanted to have a little bit more uh, structure. So the very bottom is still connected. And uh, this is wide enough for the clay interior. Let me read to you from George Washington's directions about building soldier huts at Valley Forge, 1777. And let's, uh, the, the um, fireplace directions. The fireplace is made with wood and secured with clay on the inside, 18 inches thick. This fireplace is to be in the rear of the hut. We're gonna be building the walls of the fireplace or the outer structure almost exactly the same way that we've made the walls of the cabin. But inside of that is a clay lining, or at least he calls it a clay lining. Um, this is probably more like a cob lining that has clay and sand mixed together so it doesn't shrink down. This is going to take a lot of work to get this done. It's not going to be just terribly complicated, but it's going to take some time. The problem is the weather is not cooperating. It's getting colder and colder. It's going to be winter very soon, and we've got to have this made. This clay can't freeze. We've got to get it dry while it's still warm enough, so we've got to hurry. While they're working on the log portion of the chimney and fireplace, I'm gonna be working on the clay section, or in this case, we're making cob. Not strictly clay, because we want it to work better than clay all by itself, which will dry and then shrink, crack, and fall down. So we've got the components for cob here. I've got a pit that I'm gonna be making it in. The pit's full of water. We've got clay. The local soil here is very dense clay. It's perfect for cob. I've also got some sand that'll help keep it from shrinking and the binders in there that, that keep the long form um, structure complete. We've got some cut grasses here or straw and then I've got some horse manure for short fiber work. Now I've just got to stomp this all into place. As you can see, the chimney's coming along uh, pretty well. This chimney is basically a mini log cabin. As we build this up, we're filling the interior of the, uh, this little mini log cabin with our cob or our clay interior. This has to be really nice and thick to protect 
the logs from catching on fire. So originally George Washington called for something like 18 inch thick. I'm not sure what he really intended there. 18 inches is way too thick. I set this up for uh, walls as thick as uh, say a foot thick. That's even still too thick. So our fireplace is gonna be a little bigger than I expected. I'm okay with that. So uh, as we go up the walls, this uh, this clay wants to sag down inside. So we have to slowly put little fires in it to get it to harden up so it can support the wall above it. This is tricky. It's very difficult to do and it takes time and we don't have time. We are running out of time as we go on this project. Winter is fast approaching. It is already uh, it gets down to freezing almost every night now. So uh, we've got to speed this process up. So while I'm working on the chimney, we're also going ahead and we're chinking and daubing the outside of the cabin that we can get to. So we got multiple teams working here. Some people working on the chimney, some people working on the exterior and even the interior a little bit on this cabin. So it's really starting to come together pretty quickly. And it turns out that the daubing goes a lot faster than I thought it was going to. So that's good. It's offsetting the slow chimney work with the fast daubing work. Maybe we'll get it done in time. It's a press. We got to really press. Yeah. 